These are photographs of two African water fleas. The one on the right was raised off the coast of Africa and is a typical looking African water flea. The one on the left is a flea that was raised in a tank with a predator fish. Somehow, in, as a result of being around that predator fish, it develops this, to me, highly uh, unappetizing spike to the top and bottom of it. And uh, clearly, this is a protective device. How does it do that? These fleas are genetically identical. So there's something that happens that's, that affects its actual structure early in life, resulting from exposure to something emitted from this predator fish that results in, in this great change that you can obviously see. This is what we now know of as epigenetics. It's genetics is not just your genetic inheritance, but factors that affect the expression of, of your genes. So these can be modified by uh, methyl groups added directly to uh, cytosines uh, at key points that, that affect transcription of, of genes. It also is related to uh, 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 modifications of the histone surrounding and, and, and giving confirmation to your DNA, microRNAs. And though these are relatively new, uh, we, we are finding uh, new epigenetic mechanisms